he's a great fella, man. I'm okay, awesome. speaking of money and yeah. uh, the greatest whiskey in the world, God, this is Enfield is getting worse by the day, too. But, um, yeah. So if you don't want the greatest whiskey in the world, I'll get that out of the way for you. Okay. Uh, Liverpool would consider selling naming rights to new Anfield Road stand. Mm -hmm. Much more money over here involved. So where do you sit on this one? Where do I sit on this one? Great question. Because um, it's kind of like a different ball game, right? Uh, and I guess let me ask you this. Because I was thinking about you know where I would put myself in this one. I think it almost like... I don't know why. It shouldn't, right? But I think the name matters. Like, if it was yes. Nike, I don't think I'm as offended as Skittles or, <laughs> you know, yeah, I mean, yeah, like yeah. Butterfingers or something like that. I'm very, I'm torn on this because football's going a certain way where more investment is key. And I understand it. And I get it. But it's been in the Anfield Road stand for as long as I can remember. And I'm sure for the little hole in the pills, it's the, it's the Annie Road. And for people who don't know, who have never been to the stadium, it's because it's on Anfield Road. <laughs> so <laughs> it was very simple and very... It's difficult, this, mate. And I agree with you. I'm not into, like, a fucking Dunkin' Donuts Anfield Road stand. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I... But would you be okay if it's Nike, for example? Or, uh, you know, like, what we wear on the jersey or something like that, that season. It's like a package deal. Yeah, for stands though, it's usually like a five-year deal, and it was for stands or ten years deals yeah. and stuff like that. It's a tough one, isn't it? But I don't know, man. I'm, I'm digging it. The American Scouts stand. You gotta admit that would be it. Yeah, that's gotta be a. Oh. It's gotta be some Patreon, but uh, buy that one, fella, to get the name right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, to be honest, mate, I haven't really had a good think about it. I'm not into it at the moment. I'm not into it um, because I do like my history and I do like. I think things happen for a reason and. People should have that connection with the club, and I know it's going. In, football's going in a certain direction, and you do have to move anyway. But it's called the Kenny Dalglish Stand, and it's not really the Kenny Dalglish Stand. Still, still the main stand, and it's still the Kemlin Road to me on the opposite side, kind of thing. So it's still we still say it the old way. We'll still call it the Annie Road. Like I still call St James's Park St James's Park, and it's been the sports like that. Once it's established like that, I mean in Chicago, I'm sure like Matthias, like Gordon, uh, if you can ever get him back online with the connection, like he would say, I don't know, like White Sox standing. I still yeah. say Comiskey, and I know it's changed like six times. In yeah, the last probably twenty years with the you know who represents it. But to me, not that I care about baseball, but if I said that, I would say the Comiskey Park or Wrigley. Exactly, That's yeah. what I would say. I still, I just call then the Staples Center. It's called the Crypto Arena, but I still call it the Staples. Yes, I still say Staples Center. Yep, exactly. So, do you know what I mean? I still call it the Echo Arena in Liverpool. It hasn't been the Echo Arena for about ten years. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I, I still call it the Echo Arena in Liverpool. I think it's called the MS Bank Arena. It's still the Echo. It's just the Echo Arena. I still call it the Staples. So it's difficult, isn't it? But if Liverpool are going to go and get three hundred million for the rights to name your stand again, I still call it St James's Park, and it's. Sports side at the arena, but it's yeah, I say it's actually, like, that's what I mean. Like, does it even matter? Do you just take the money and run away with it? I know people will probably feel dirty about it, but at the same time, the money has to come from somewhere. And if you're on this side, like I remember, like I was like two seasons ago, they had like a stupid, like a Hello Kitty thing or whatever, like a collab on the website, and people were losing their minds. They're like, Why no. are we? What do you care? I mean, it still has to be. <laughs> David says I still call it Twitter. I, exactly. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Do we even care? Because you are competing against other teams who are getting to be in that fund. So don't go crying afterwards saying, "Oh, we're not spending money." If you're against every single money revenue that is out there, I, I do agree with what you're saying in that sense. But I think there's other ways we can make money. I suppose. Um, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest, mate. I know I understand the way football's going, as you just said. You've got to make money somehow and stuff like that. And we all want Liverpool to compete. I think the best way for Liverpool to compete is to win trophies and get money that way, personally. Um, I, I say this all the time. I think Liverpool got 300 odd million when they won the Champions League. Win the Champions League, though. Do you know what I mean? So, <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? So that was, that, that's where that frustration came in. I think we won the Champions League, signed Van der Berg and Adrian and went again. And we were like, hmm. <laughs> but of course, for people who don't know, because again, and you understand the podcast that we're on, Liverpool work off a bonus structure. If yep. you're successful, the players get all get weighed in. So I think we weighed our players in like 40 million 
after they won the Champions League. Everyone got like three million each or two million each because that's how we work. So last year, basically, a lot of the players just got their base salary because we were shit. So now this year, probably we're going to have to pay them all again, kind of thing. But it's interesting, mate. It really is interesting. I think they probably will name it. Nike, I'm okay with, of course. Especially if I get me Air Max 95 collab, please. But um, you can get the line in the back, yeah. yeah I mean, I'm on it right now. I want my Air 95, 95 collab. But uh, yeah, where do you where are you at with it, Tim? It depends what the name is, isn't it? I don't know why though. It shouldn't though, right? But to me, it does. I mean, I was me. thinking about that. And I'm like, really depends on what they use. But then if you open the door and say, okay, this week Nike is okay. I know next week it's going to be a sports drink. And then, you know, like before you know it, it's just a drink. And, you know, you just keep changing. And before you know it, it's Skittles again. But That's I mean, I don't know why I'm so against Skittles name, but <laughs> I mean, yeah. will be changed. And, feel, and I think FSG has learned over time Correct. on their missteps. Agreed. They would not, I don't think, attempt that. But at the same time, they're still the same businessmen trying to maximize revenue. They probably know, hey, we might not be able to do that, but there's a ton of money spent on the stand. We can get some money to recoup some of that back. Yeah, it's yeah, and I agree with that. Like they wouldn't, they wouldn't rename the cop. It's just like impossible. Yes, like, exactly. Like, like you know, I know there's other. How about the Nike cop? I'm just kidding. Go ahead. The Skittles <laughs> cop. <laughs> yeah, the Skittles cop. I get him in. Maybe the world's greatest whiskey cop. But, uh... <laughs> But now, so this, yeah, there's certain things I think they know they've learned over time, which they can and can't do. This one is a 50 50 choice, I think. I think this is one where they'll probably sit down with people like Spirit of Shankly and other um, fan groups like that and have the chat with them and go, here's the name we're thinking. Like, I think they would negotiate a name and go, we're going to present this because I know Liverpool do have fan representation now on the board. Yeah. So ever since the Super League. So there is that kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Nike, yeah, Adidas and stuff like that, yeah. You know, but as again, I'm not into the fucking Carabao Cup one. Or like a Carabao fucking... And that's the thing, like, yeah. like I said, the name should not really matter. It should be the principle or the concept or whatever. And I think people who say no will say it no based on that. But I am I think in my head, I'm trying to find a happy medium where you are still maximizing and bringing money that's going to be spent on academy yes. new players the club yeah. whatever right yeah. and then uh, but trying to balance it with not totally yeah. selling out either and I, I guess i see ryan's comment there i understand it but there's also a part i'm not selling the soul of my football club for a fucking cdm so there's a very yeah. you know what i mean there's a difficult part of this as well too and that's why the name does matter i think the name matters i don't want to be fucking laughed at it's the soul of the football would the viagra club. stand be like standing only you think mm. oh very good uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Every match has got to last eight hours. You never finish. No match can ever finish. <laughs> Just gotta keep going and going and going. <laughs> but uh, the, no penalties. Keep going overtime. Yeah, um, exactly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but now I'm, I'm not interested in selling the soul of my footy club. I'm not. I oh, don't speaking of Viagra stands, Gordon is back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't get it to go down. I, I had to. Yeah, it's 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 such a little fucking pop blue pill. Look at him. He's back, baby. It was, it was starting to creep up at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. Yeah. You were supposed to be calling the doctor after four hours. Uh, Ryan's, got very much, Ryan's got a lot of experience with this by the sounds of it. So, Ryan's our resident guy on that one. But yeah, man, I'm not interested in selling the soul. Yeah. So, Gordo, we're talking about we went from a different money avenue now the right to the Enfield Road stand. Where do you stand on that? No pun intended. <laughs> um yeah i think it has to be the right name i mean i i heard a little bit of what you guys were saying in the in the uh back room or the green room or whatever you call it back there but um yeah i think it it, it can't be like a joke right because I, I i have a you know watching like the rexon documentary and that's kind of big here in the in the states um you know they named the race course the stoke race course now you know they yeah. Their brand, they branded with Stoke, and Racecourse is such a, a historic venue. I mean, it was the first we like Welsh International Stadium. Yeah. It's you know, and they were able to change that, and the fans didn't seem to really care about that. I again, not talking about renaming Anfield, but um, are they going to rename the cop? Because theirs is named the cop as well, and I'm assuming they'd probably slap a a name on it. I guarantee they will. They won't rename the cop. They got killed. They'll be finished. No, he's talking about you're talking about Wrexham, right? 
Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, the, the, uh, the Wrexham sell out on that. I mean, well, haven't they just done the four walls stand for like mm -hmm. Ryan's whiskey, hasn't he? Not Ryan's whiskey, the other guy, Rob's whiskey. Yeah, yeah. He's just mm -hmm. done the yeah, like, and then they've got everything has aviation all over it so they're turning that into kind of a, a commercial venue and i see like that's the way it's going which is you know a lot of people were surprised like a lot of my friends that like slowly got into soccer and the sport of and epl the league you know when they they call the brighton stadium the amex right and it just sounds like a but it's American Express Stadium, right? So, like, they were surprised that, you know, like, they kind of put a little shine on it, right? But it's still just the American Express Stadium, which is a credit card company. So, I like, I think naming a stand is a step in the, the direction of, all right, the times are changing, but we also, like, we're not, let's just dip our toe into it. And I'd be fine with like the main stand, right? Obviously the cop I think is untouchable. Kenny all the Douglas, you don't want to change that. Um, and then obviously the name of Anfield, you don't want to lose either. So I guess like the main stand, yeah, it's just called the main stand, you know, like why not? But it's gotta be the right, it's gotta be the right advertisement. And I think it goes back to that. They will probably, but I mean, once you open the door, Mm -hmm. I mean, it becomes a really gray area, though, Kazi. Like you said, yeah. you know, they would ask in the stand. But then, like I say, like this week it's Nike, and then next week it's, I don't know, like an energy drink and stuff like that. I mean, yeah. it can go. I mean, who's going to draw the line? I'm okay with it, and I honestly do think that they looked at this as, you know, there's no way you're going to change Anfield. There's, like I say, there's no way to change the cup. This is a new, you know, you can't. this is the time. If you're going to do this, while it's hot off the presses, you can kind yeah. of do it now and get a sponsor. Yeah, that's fair. I think, and listen, but again, I, I go back to it. it. Just depends what the name is. I'm not having something fucking daft, some daft stupid name. Like you still got to, kind of, you know, let's get it right. I know they're the owners of the club, but they're also custodians of the club, and it has to be looked after correctly. We've seen this with owners, you know, throughout the club right now. What's happening? Um, sorry, with other clubs. So they have to do it correctly. So if they're going to do this, the name matters. If it is the knife Anfield Roll Stand. But they're never going to get rid of the Anfield Road like name. It's still going to, to me. It's always going to be the Annie Road. To you lads, it's going to be the Annie Road, and it just is what it is, kind of thing. But if they if they're going to go and get two three hundred million off it on the back of an okay name, a name that's going to be passable, then fine. But as I said, see, I'm not into the Dunkin' Donuts stand and shit like that. That can all just get in the bin. Yeah, 